The Self, Dear Alexander, 23. Quote, Our self is in constant fluctuation. If you're constantly listening to what other people are saying and sharing on social media and never understanding who you are, you've become a reflection of other people. End quote. Robert Greene. Social media and the internet has become the most significant double-edged sword of the 21st century. You've experienced this powerful, deleterious effects on your own mental state and find yourself in a place where the self, who you are, sometimes gets muddled through the reflection of thoughts and opinions of the media on a screen. You use all forms of media to help provoke internal dialogue, challenge previous held beliefs, and educate on all things related to the human experience. But you have gotten to a point where you are trying to peel back the layers of yourself and find solitude, peace, and space. And you can only find that if you quiet the external voices by stepping further away from media consumption. Most of our diseases, physical and mental, are diseases of overconsumption. Historically, you have been in a large phase of intellectual cerebral consumption that is currently affecting your understanding of yourself and your own mental well-being. Although, on the other hand, of the double-edged sword, it also has aided in dramatic self-reflection, proactiveness, betterment, education. It is the elixir and it is the poison because it's how you interface and use a tool that determines its predominant effectiveness. Social media acts like a mask that allows people to hide from themselves, hide from who they really are. They don't have to face the shadows of their soul and character because they can swim in a fabricated facade of enabling delusion. But that's also the beauty of it. You can be whoever you want to be by the freedom that maybe you can even find yourself. Whatever finding yourself means. But more often than not, social media exposes addictive, fickle tendencies in an already fractured person who likely needs to sit alone by a river and just listen. Depending on how damaged you are, tools like social media can either repress authenticity or expose it. Embracing the many light and dark sides of yourself is a gateway to learning who you really are, what you're capable of, and expressing that self with authenticity. When you get stuck in the overconsumption of opinions, thoughts, and influences of others, get mixed and confused with who you are. Quote, When you're not in touch with your own tastes, desires, impulses, what makes you different, what makes you unique, you are alienated from the one basic reality who you are, end quote, quote, if you're constantly listening to what other people are saying and sharing on social media, if you're plugged into the matrix continually, and that's your only reality, then really what you're doing is you're never understanding who you are. What you see when you look in the mirror then becomes a reflection of all the opinions of other people. So you become a reflection of other people, which serves to alienate yourself from yourself. Being alienated from yourself is a deeply depressing experience. Living in the matrix world of social media and all the fantasies, you don't really have to confront yourself. And you don't have to deal with your own demons, weaknesses, and flaws, and consequently, you pay a terrible price. But the principal source of the problem is people are running away from themselves, and on social media, that process is greatly accelerated. End quote. There is great utility in stepping back and giving yourself some distance from the chaos of consumption. That space allows you the moments to discover the deepest, darkest, most beautiful corners of your mind and soul. And these many years, many years, these two years later, over two years later, I'm able to look at this and implement some of the thoughts that I was having here and that Robert Greene inspired, henceforth into me taking action into no longer following anybody on social media to limit the consumption, to limit the distraction and the delusion, consuming less in general through social media, but through education even, through things like well, superficial education, Podcasts, videos, articles, things that just capture you for a moment, but don't maybe provide any practical relevancy. Being much more cautious and careful about what I choose to consume. Sitting with myself more, breathing with myself more. Being quiet more. After reading reflect, after reading and learning something, taking time to pause. 
and think about what did you just consume instead of hopping from one to the next, to the next, to the next. That's been a dramatic shift and benefit in my behavior.